Investigators say they found a hit list and a bomb inside the home of a former Nelson County Corrections Officer. WDRB's Joel Skipper shows us what else that suspect had that could have led to a very scary ending. That arrest happened early Monday morning by the Nelson County Sheriff's Department. That man now behind bars and it's an area he's familiar with. It's very alarming, especially somebody in our community like that. 22 year old Mason Johnson is now back at Nelson County Corrections, no longer as an employee, but this time as an inmate. Johnson was arrested Monday about six miles south of Bardstown after officers stopped at a crash. They were working it. Somebody came in or came to them and said, hey, we had somebody turn on blue lights on us and pretty much do a traffic stop. Turns out deputies say Johnson had been impersonating them. They got a search warrant, went to his house on Jim Clarkson Road, where Johnson's parents answered the door. The suspect lived in the basement, so the units go to the basement. He was asleep. Thankfully, it's probably the safest. As officers woke him up, they found several guns, which Johnson was ordered not to have, along with a pipe bomb and a bunch of law enforcement gear. The bomb squad was called out. This patches, uh, taser, OC spray, baton, a full duty belt. Here's my vest, which is similar to what he had on his. Along with that, they also found journals and a detailed hit list of those who wronged him and how he would kill them. In Kentucky, that's enough for an attempted murder charge. Other charges include use of a weapon of mass destruction, attempted kidnapping and impersonating a peace officer for trying to pull people over. It's a slap in the face and it makes you want to get them off the street because well, you don't know what their intentions are. Along with Nelson County, Johnson was also a former corrections officer for LaRue County, Kentucky, and was a volunteer for the New Hope Fire Department. Deputies glad the person in the car said something after they saw something and that Johnson was taken into custody without incident, considering what he had planned. This would have been very bad um, if it would have played out. And the Sheriff's Department believes more charges could be filed against Johnson. Reporting in Bardstown, Kentucky, Joel Skipper, WDRB News.